Welcome to Up Dog Yoga. I'm so glad you're here. If you're joining me in this short practice, let's start in downward facing dog, lift one leg up, bring your knee to your elbow, and then swing it across and twist, opposite elbow. Lift up and step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, back heel down. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, star pose. Exhale into your wide squat. Reach your arms out wide, come into temple pose. Bring one arm to one leg. Back to center. This time interlace your hands behind your back and humble horse, lean forward, stretch your hands away from you. Relax your head and neck. Inhale, star pose, reach up. Exhale back to warrior two. Plant your hands, move through your vinyasa. Lower halfway, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog, point your toes into your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Second round, bring your knee to your elbow, lift, and then switch, opposite elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge, lower to your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon. And then into your half split. Shift your hips back, lift your right toes, fold. Make sure to do all these exercises on the other side as well. And come back into your lunge, into your side lunge, skandasana. The hands on the floor or hands in prayer. Wide forward fold to release. Relax your head and neck. Hang here. Bring some weight to your toes. And then come back low lunge. This time jump switch. Left foot forward. Drop to your back knee. This is your lizard lunge. So sink into your hips. Soften your face. Soften your jaw. And into a twist. Reach opposite arm up into your side plank, stack your feet, press the floor away. Option to reach your arm across your ear or even wild thing, drop onto your big toe, lift your chest and back to downward facing dog. Lower to your hands and knees. This time to rest your arms and legs, do some core work. So bring your feet together, knees wide, take a few resting breaths and then into legs at the wall crunches. Extend your legs up, reach up and down. Exhale as you lift, inhale to lower. And for my May classes, you do about 10 to 15. And then hands underneath your sit bones, lift your legs up and down. Keep your low back rounded. And then last exercise we'll do here is bicycle crunches. Just go side to side. Inhale center, exhale twist. Come up for boat pose. This is to prepare us for crow pose. Put your hands underneath your knees or reach your hands forward, sit up tall. And then for your crow pose, go into a forward fold, bend your knees, stack your knees on the back of your arms, look forward, play with lifting your feet or optional chaturanga, jump back and press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift one leg up, knee to elbow, lift up and then twist, swing it across, lift up. Maybe kick open this time, step forward, inhale, warrior two. Reach your arms wide, look to your fingertips, draw your belly in, move into triangle pose, straighten your front leg, look up and come back to warrior two. This time into your half moon, look down, float your back leg, lift your foot higher than your hip and make your way back to warrior two or to standing. Lower down to your hands and knees. We'll go into dolphin pose this time. So it's downward facing dog just on your forearms. Press your forearms down, lift one leg in the air. Optional hop up. And then have a seat. Come into half pigeon, swing one leg forward, the right leg forward, left leg back, stay up. And then move into your side stretch. We usually hold for about five breaths and then move into the side stretch. So foot to your inner thigh, take five breaths here and then come up. This time cross your right ankle over your left thigh, spread your toes wide, slow deep breath in, long deep breath out. I'm gonna take the same stretch on the other side. So this time with left leg forward, right leg back, walk your hands back, stay up, find your back bend or optional fold, that's another great option. Move into your side stretch, extend your right leg out, reach your left arm over, 
hook up to the ceiling or down to the floor, wherever your neck is comfortable. And then lie on your back. Press your left ankle over your right thigh, spread your toes, pull your legs into your chest. Breath in and breath out. Move to your belly for bow pose, our final back bend. Kick your feet into your hands, lift your chest up. Roll onto the spot below your navel. Sometimes it's fun to rock back and forth. And then press back to child's pose, rest. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe.